it's easier to just start recording sometimes and then let the conversation then, take it. We kill the conversation. We're like, we should just start recording a second we add someone to the call. Yeah, because basically that's all this uh, this podcast is is just us recording the Skype calls. I don't even think like I don't even I wouldn't even call it turned up. You know how like wrestlers say like it, you know it's just me t- like turned up like a thousand like or whatever like the notch is turned up the volume is turned up on the on the wrestling character. Um, I wouldn't even say that we're turned up like two notches. I, I would just say you just we're just. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Figure I was gonna say out. we just okay. turn up. Anyway, um, anyway, yeah, so point. we're here with Andy. Hello. Uh, he's been on a a lot now. At this point, we were supposed to have Britain, um, but Britain is currently driving away from the hurricane that's headed his way. So, Britain, I hope you're safe. Mm. Um, and uh, one day we'll get the four of us on the podcast. Um, but real quick, not real quick, but this podcast, I kind of wanted to ask Andy. Now, the last time we recorded with you, you were just about to hit 100,000 subscribers, I believe. No, we recorded after the fact. So you just hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I you're at almost 150. I think he was at 140. 140? Or 129 or something. I feel like he was like, at like yeah, like 110, 110, 120 or something. Now you're almost at 150. And honestly, from here, it's just going to like take off like crazy. So I know you've been like... I've been seeing your tweets about like the situation that like stuff that you've been going through. People are like screenshotting and like complaining about like you posting videos so fast or whatever. Like, yeah. What's like, do you feel that now that you have some, I want to say no notoriety or popularity, I don't know. It's weird to say that with you being my friend and all, but like, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like, it, does it feel like that's kind of like deterring you away from making the videos that you want to make? Or you think it's just, a uh, speed bump in the road. Well, there's there's definitely some there's a little bit of background as to you know what certain videos are not supposed to be um, posted. So as you can, I don't know if you guys can hear my dog in the background, but apparently she's just as pissed off as everybody else at me Sounds posting. Like um, but like in terms of just like a regular reaction video or something that was posted or like filmed or whatever like years ago it doesn't matter when i post it right but like certain fandoms in k-pop they don't like when their group puts out a new song or puts out a new video when somebody reacts to it within 24 hours because they feel like you're taking away from the view count of their music video and that people who don't like that specific group will go and watch a reaction rather than help break records on the original music video. Now, gotcha. what I've tried to explain oh, a million God. times God. is that my views are like 0.1% of these 100 million view mm-hmm. videos. Like, it doesn't that, do anything. That sounds, yeah. like, worse. Because I feel like you're you're getting the runoff. You're not get, you're not stealing anything. You're just... Yeah. More, it might sometimes someone watch a reaction video to go watch the music video after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... And the thing is, it's not like that with every group. Like, I got to be honest with you guys, it, it's kind of like a couple groups where, like, their fandom don't like it. But, um, like, Blackpink is my number one, like, group that I react to. And, like, their fandom doesn't care. Like, they want me to react right away because th- they want to hear my thoughts. And, you know, they understand that it, you know, it makes sense that I make reaction videos. But, you know, other fandoms, they're not too happy with people doing it. And, again, it's not the whole fandom. It's just, it's, like, parts of it. Like some fans are like that, but um, it, it's it it gets annoying sometimes. But I also have to understand that there's like some people that don't really understand how YouTube works and the algorithm and mm-hmm. you know how views are counted and stuff like that. Because like they have rules, like they make rules and they like post it all over Twitter and they say this is how we're gonna stream the video, blah blah blah. And I'm reading it and I'm like, this is never gonna work. Like this stuff doesn't work. It's an algorithm. There's YouTube does not go by rules. Yeah. It's just whatever happens that day happens. So I don't know. It, it it's it's troublesome, but the reason why I said those things and tweeted those things was basically to be like, yo, listen, like you might have told other reactors to do it like this before, but like I'm not about to just sit here and just take orders from people. So mm-hmm. like I'm gonna do it how I want, and if you don't like it, then I just won't talk about them at all, and then you can wonder why I don't post videos about them. So just do what you want. It's your channel. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and I've t- and I've told people that matter. Yeah, because like I, 
I don't even know. Ten thousand subs, no one cares. But now that you have like over a hundred thousand, people care. Yeah. yeah, and it's like I think um, if, if these, okay, like first off, like I mean, I and like all of us, like we come from like the YouTube where if someone had a hundred thousand, like if a big YouTuber had a hundred thousand um v- like views on a video, that was a big deal, mm-hmm. and so for a hundred million like it's not like they're losing any money you know what i mean like because you're putting up a reaction video like it's not like if justin and i do a reaction to you know bray wyatt versus uh uh whatever braun Strowman, like and then wwe posts that video or they have on the pay-per-view it's not taken away from from their you know views on their videos people are still going to watch it and it's like the runoff like justin said like that's you know what i mean like it's just it's just yeah. cra- crazy that that's like a thing, and it's not like you're, um, like you obviously care about this topic. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing the videos, you know. Just like with like wrestling, it's like we obviously care about wrestling, so we're going to make, you know, a video about it. It's not like you're just doing it just to, you know, do the views, and you wouldn't be doing it this long, and you wouldn't be that passionate about it if it was just for views and money, and you know what I mean, like. Yeah. It's crazy that people don't see that, but then again, like even with big YouTubers, it's I don't know, dude. You know what I mean? It's just because, and like I can kind of see like there's another side to it where like I know in the past in that realm of YouTube that there have been there have been reactors that see that like K-pop is like really popular and that they mm-hmm. can get views and they can get money and clout, whatever, and they use that and then they move on to another topic that they actually want to talk about and then they delete all their videos this happened recently with uh, a pretty big youtuber in that space he decided to pretend to like k-pop for a while and then he was like oh now i'm gonna be a keemstar type of channel and he Mm. deleted everything and he's like well now i got my viewership now i can start posting and people will see my videos so uh i just like i can get i get that side of it but there's you have to just treat everybody differently because again like i get way more positive comments than negative like it's it's quite the big difference but um at the same time those negative comments sometimes can reach a bunch of people and then those people get the wrong idea about you so like some people are like i'll just ignore it it's like no but i'm gonna like hit it head on because if these people want to play like that like i can play right back like Mm -hmm. I, i really don't care like you can make up assumptions about me and you know I'm just going to come back with the actual truth. And again, it's not everybody and um, it's, you know, it's not all negative, but there's definitely some times where I have to defend myself. And luckily enough, there's people, you know, it's funny, like if I'm not even tagged in a tweet, there'll be a bunch of people that just see the tweets and send it to me. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't, I don't have to actively search for this stuff, which is, which is nice. You know, there's people that have my back out there and they're going, Hey, you should probably say something about this. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I've there's it's been an interesting week. I also found um, some YouTubers that are trying to get their subscribers up are using my name and their tags. So uh, it's <laughs> been it's been what quite I'm talking the week. about. <laughs> it's, it's been quite the week, dude. I used to well, like um, I didn't used to do that, but like when when I became friends with like everybody, like Breach and Ravi and Miguel and whatnot and, and Justin, I would um, like even if I mentioned it once, I would be like, all right, Stevie Breach, like, like assault and battery, <laughs> like because you know. Oh, like, but that's like that's different because it's like you know it's like friends doing that, but like you know for this like we're gonna put Andy Pillick like reacts to the you know like he what's like the people do that now it's like <laughs> speaks upon or anyway, um, but. No, but it's just like it's one of those things where, um, like YouTube has gotten so big where it's, I don't know, it's just crazy. Like we're not just kids making videos in our rooms anymore. Like it's yeah. actual. Like there's a business behind it, and there's an algorithm, and I don't know, dude. Like, what do you think? I mean, you you've seen YouTube for X amount of years now. Um, where do you think it's going? Well, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, I love that I'm having success right now. But I was also having success, like, early on with the wrestling videos. And I, and I say it all the time. And, like, you know, it, it it's funny in a way. But at the, at the you know, on the other side, it's like, you know, I loved the stress-free, you know, go and buy 
another what was it like unmatched fury whatever those those figures were called and Mm -hmm. like at the walmart where the big figure wall was and like come (laughs) home pop in a dvd make the video post it talk to everybody like those those stress-free days of like just having fun and like posting video responses and like that stuff was so much fun and it's like now i'm having fun but like it's i know there's also another side to it and that that side kind of sucks um like the whole business side of it it kind of sucks um but i understand it but no i i really enjoy making the videos still and i still enjoy the content but there's definitely a side of me that like wants to go back and like just watch how i like like i would love to be like behind my old self watching me post a video on youtube and see how (laughs) different it was then than how it is now because like i honestly forget like like the the original layout of how I used to post videos because it's way different now. So I don't know. That would be fun to go back and be like, dude, like, what are you thinking? Like, why are you posting this in the title? Like, bro, you spelled your name wrong in your channel. Like, what? Like, bro, what are you doing? And <laughs> listen, you... it's it's legendary now. So whatever. It's legendary. Um, it's legendary. By the way, speaking of you, I'm not saying that this podcast is reviving the YWC, but I feel like it's inspiring. The people that make videos to make videos again. You got to stir it up, you know, stir Dude, up the pot once in a while. You know, I would love because, that. Because I Because we don't get that much views, but people that view our videos are our friends that make the videos. Does that yeah. make sense? Yep. So, like, yeah. All I, mean, I want is people to just like make videos and have fun with it. Like it does. Like for a while there, we were stuck in this. Like, oh man, you gotta get, you gotta get like the three hundred one plus. Like, you gotta get the views on the video. Like, and obviously, when it comes to like, I mean, look at look at Andy. Like, he took something that he enjoys, and he's making he made videos about it. Other people watched those videos, and it grew and it grew and it grew. And there was, I'm sure, like in your head, because just like with like negative comments, like it always you know stands out to you. I'm sure there's videos that you see like man, I wish that one got, you know, uh, a thousand views or something in the beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you, you know, it's it's funny. It's funny you talk about the 301 Plus. Now it's like if you go and click on the video and it has like 60 likes and there's yep. like five views, <laughs> then you know that the video is about to pop off, right? Yeah. Like that. that's that's when you know something's about to hit. Um, the craziest one I ever got like that was like I posted a video And it was for like a music video that everybody was waiting to see like people's reactions to not just mine but like literally everybody Mm -hmm. and i had like 650 likes with like two views Hmm. and like obviously it's that was wrong but like i i I refreshed and it was like at 2500 views in like a minute i was like okay this video is about to go off and then i ended up on the trending page Hmm. which was insane and you checked it Send me a little text you like, hey, look at this video. I'm like, you fuck. <laughs> 250,000 views. Yeah, dude. I, I have a video that's at 900 and I think 923,000. I'm, I'm, I want dude. that. I need it to get to a million so bad. We got to get that to a million. I yeah. mean, that's, How are we going to get that to a million? We can't do anything. <laughs> no, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll watch it a couple times, you know. <laughs> It's 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 really not worth watching a couple of times. It'll get there eventually, but uh, yeah, no. That when when that happens, I think that's just another milestone for me. Where it's like, damn, like I really have a video that has a million views. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. Are There's, you the, are you the Blackpink guy in like the K-pop community? I th- honestly, right now, I'm pretty sure I am. Um, there's okay. My dog really does not like my answers tonight, but um. <laughs> No, uh, there's there's definitely a few guys there that um, have reacted to Blackpink quite a bit. But I think as of like the last like six to eight months, I think I'm definitely the go to right now. Uh, I don't want to like sit here and like gloat or anything like that. <laughs> but like, um, I, I, hey, listen, that's what they've been telling me. So I'm just going to say yes. But uh, I don't know the views. The views dictate that as well. And, and the views have been doing really well in terms of Blackpink videos. But Again, it's like I do it because I enjoy the content and I think that people see that. So that's probably why people gravitate toward the, towards my reactions to them. Mm-hmm. And um, you doing them before they got popular or like not like blown up, but like no more mainstream. More no, because they um, the thing was with me was is like BTS and Blackpink were like 
the kings and queens like people consider them like of k-pop like they get the most um attention and when i was trying to like when i started the channel and i wanted to do you know music from around the world like i i first watched bts because i i thought that they would be a good start because i had heard about them a million times but then they were like oh you got you need to check out black pink and like they were like they were already established but like i think i hit like their reaction videos right at the right time because they started to like really take off so people were like trying to figure out more about them and like see people's reactions to them and like i was making the videos as they were also popping off um so it kind of it kind of like they were already there but like they weren't there if you know what i mean like they they weren't mm -hmm. at the, they weren't like considered the very top yet so um they're, they're towards the top of k-pop now in terms of like groups so uh i think i got to them like right at the right time i mean that's that's what it takes to uh you know for that stuff to get big because um you got to be on the train and right now we're on the andy train and uh we're just you know riding it to the top. The day andy doesn't reply to my text or <laughs> that's never gonna happen <laughs> man i'm telling you right now i've had to make like other accounts because like people are are like finding some of my personal information and like contacting my family and stuff like that. Oh so, God. Dude, so it's, it's, the cycle the cycle just keeps going, but at this time it's a bigger scale. <laughs> Honest, you <know>? yeah. <laughs> if I were you, like, okay, so today, like, not to like derail the conversation, but today on um, on, I was listening to Barstool Radio and one of the guys was on there just talking, and then all of a sudden he was like, "I'm getting a bunch of texts," and <laughs> and so. Like they were like trying to figure it out and everything, so people found his resume from like years ago. Oh my god! And his phone number was on the resume, and so <laughs> they were just texting and calling him and stuff. So basically, what I'm saying is, make sure your phone number is not on your resume. Um, <laughs> it is, yeah. but I think that resume is long gone, so I think we should be okay. Well, th that's good because uh, basically, what I'm saying is. I will pay. I, I will, you know, charge a million dollars for Andy's phone numbers. <laughs> that's like, that's basically all it is. But the cycle well, is continuing. I was gonna say, why? So what happened to your Leafs channel, your hockey channel? I, you know, what's funny is I actually posted on that channel like a few hours ago because I haven't posted on there in forever. And you know what? Like, I was just getting burnt out, like with trying to keep up with this channel. So, like, I was, I was just burnt out. And I was like, okay, I got to focus on what's doing really well for me right now. Like, I know that if I post a few hockey rumor videos and talk about the Leafs, like, I can get it back on track pretty quickly. And you, uh, you never posted any Leafs videos when they were in their series. Yeah, I posted, like, a preview and then that was it. And, like, you would think that it would make sense to do a bunch of videos during that series, but... I was also like trying like it was the like the worst possible time but like I was also trying to like take mini breaks from social media and that's that's why I missed the one podcast that you guys did because mm -hmm. I completely forgot that I like was supposed to do that um but my bad funny. I thought uh, I thought you were crying cuz Leafs lost the night before so I was like can you <laughs> No no um I actually you know what this was the first time where I watched the game and I was like I knew this was going to happen so who cares Oh like, I like I'm like I'm like when they won they won game four, and I was like, Mike, any, I bet any money the Leafs blow it in game five. Like, I looked at the score in the second in the second period. I'm like, I'm not even putting on this game. Yeah. This is the one year where you can be like, you know what? It doesn't matter because it doesn't count. Like, it, it's not, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Fine. It the does Raptors matter. Are, the Raptors are going to win the championship, so it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, defend. Defend the championship. Yeah, we're going back to back, so. Raining and defending. Yep. But, so, uh, I believe so. Uh, you know what? It doesn't it doesn't matter because the uh, it's NBA playoff season, right? Am I right? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. The, like we said, you know, the Raptors are going to win. They're they're going back to back. We have the best ah! coach. We have the best coach in the league, Nick ah! Nurse. Shout out Nick Nurse. Um, Raining, defending, undisputed champs. Ex exactly. And oh. you know, Fred Van Fleet. You know, he kind of looks like Drake. But he's definitely more talented than Drake. Um, you know, we got Pascal Siakam, talented, elite, underrated. Kyle Lowry, little Lowry. Um, you know, here's a question. He's hurt though. 
I guess this question will be answered this year. Um, can the Toronto Raptors win without Drake? That is the headline. That should be the headline. Honestly, because, I, I don't say know. they do it. You think so? I mean, they don't need him anyways, but yeah. If they lose, if they don't make it to the finals this year and win, is it like is Drake needed for this team? If that's the case, then like I'm never watching basketball again. <laughs> like, if we Drake lose gonna... the finals, you're not going to watch again. Well, no, because Mike said it's because of Drake. If Drake is literally the reason why we're going to win, then like. What's the point? Like, if Drake's not there, then I don't have to watch. Drake got two rings. He didn't get one ring. He got two rings. He's got big rings. He wants a really big team with some really big rings. <laughs> and that's going to do it for this podcast. So, Andy, um, next time we do one of these podcast sessions, it's I'm going to say sessions. Seconds. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. These recording sessions. Um, you tweeted that you want to get 200,000 uh, by the end of this year. And honestly... I say you'll hit it by like October, like you know what I mean. Like I'm, like I I, I have a feeling that it's just gonna like I've heard that once you hit that one hundred thousand mark, it's like to the races. You know what I mean? I mean, I hope you're right. Yeah. Well, we'll do an update when you, you hit one hundred forty, like pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it did go pretty quick. Before you know, it'll be two fifty. Before you know it, Andy will stop messaging us. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, well, just like a uh, 2010 YWC video, uh, shout out to Andy Pillick. Go check him out on YouTube. Um, (laughs) All right, that's it. We'll talk to you in the next one. He needs the subs.